Alright, welcome back guys. We left off. The Imprison ate my world and now I had to do it all over again. Because the world is not a good thing. So, I want to shoot him really quick with a bomb. Make him stop moving. I missed. That sucks. Let's land right on him, shall we? Of course, Bob is falling and he's gonna ruin my day. I better still be exactly where I was. Nope! Of course not. Of course not, that'd be too easy. Son of a bee! Stop it! No! What is the event there? Hey. Hit him, Bruce. To your home with your giant butthole mouth. Look at that butthole mouth. It's disgusting. <laughs> if he grew arms, I wonder how OP is going to be next time if he comes out again. Scales floating in the air. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. Again. Alright, imprisoned. Stay in there this time. Don't come out. Mm. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. No, I'm not gonna do it quickly. I'm just gonna let him come back out again. Prison. Come on out! Come on out! Well, if there's like a seal. Hey, this is a seal. Why does it keep breaking? This is a horrible seal. You guys should get a new one. One that doesn't break. How about that? Don't break the seal! We need a new seal. Like, honestly. The seal is clearly not working. He did save my tail, Bruce, with those bombs. With that ugly fat head. When it stopped moving. Oh, I need the giant bed here. Give me my bed back. Give me my bed! You want a man, man? Come on, I don't need it. I don't need a big man. Yeah. What am I talking about? Here, give me some hearts. More hearts. More hearts. There's like hearts everywhere. It's a hard city. There's really a city called Heart City. I'm gonna look that up. Yo, where you live? I live in Heart City. Oh man, it must be awesome playing Zelda there. Ah. Nah, man. There's never any hearts laying around. 
It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. Of course I was. You have my thanks, Link. As do you, Goose. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. <laughs> Duh, oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could to help. <laughs> I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Link, you must wonder what it is that you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I could tell you, but to size suffice to say it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We shall seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it at its source or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate with a skyward strike. Come on already. Charge that sword of yours with the sacred force and Granny was talking about it zap the gate of time. Right on, Granny. Mm. Indeed. Now, Link, go to the gate. I don't wanna. Don't want to want to. Want to Fanta. Don't want to Fanta. Want to want to Fanta. What? This crazy gate of time. Uh oh. Gonna be Tetris up in here. It's a Tetris gate. Oh no, we lost the level. There's too many pieces. Too many pieces of Tetris. Alright, Link, put that one there. No, Link, no. No, Link, you're gonna lose the level. This is the craziest game of Tetris I've ever seen. Fit it right there. Fit it. Fit. No, come on. Go in. Yeah. Perfect fit. We're gonna beat this level. Best Tetris level ever. And... You win the level, Link. How much you guys want to bet that Girahim is gonna show up and be all like, Hey. What's up, Link? Thanks for showing me the gate of time. I'll be like, no, you followed me. How dare you follow me? And then, it's like Mickey Mouse. It's a Mickey Mouse gate. Look at his ears up there. <gasps> He's receives them. Uh -huh. Here it comes out. This is what we've waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. It is, if everything is as I suspect, the reunion with, with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. <laughs> nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit, so Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might bust free again. <laughs> Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place, <laughs> might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? I still hate you, Goose. Don't worry. Oh my god, this is so necessary. I don't give a crap about Goose. When you see Zelda, tell her I said what's up. I don't like you, Goose. I'm not gonna tell her for you. You know why? Because I don't talk, so I'm not actually gonna tell her. Don't you nod your head. Say your words like a man. And here comes Kirahem. Can't pop out in a minute, I know it. What is going on here? This is 
craziness. Whoa. Her new time gate would be like a bunch of gears. Mickey Mouse gears! Temple of Hylia. What's up, Impa? Hey! At last, we've been expecting you, Link. You are doubtless the doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simple as I can. This is the Temple of Pilot, though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You've sinned in the past, ages before your own time. Here, the goddess, Hylia, has only just sealed away demise. A little time has passed since the goddess sent the out wrapping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. It is it is true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend waits for you. This game is so redundant, like, it tells me things like 300 times as if I don't get what's happening. It's Zelda! Zelda! I found you. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you've made it. Hey girl, found you. I imagine Infant filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy, fairy tales about the war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to all be real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. Oh no. This is gonna be long, isn't it? I want a cutscene. Show me. The old gods created as a supreme power they gave to anyone possessed in the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire they called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied, 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 readied a massy army of warriors for the war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people, and she used her power to send them both and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home for our people. In time, it became known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess, Halia, succeeded in sealing away demise. However, soon after the Demon King was involved, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and put them both in motion. Dumb look on your face, Link. First, she created Fee. She made the spirit reside in your sword to serve a single purpose to assist her chosen hero on a mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made the sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power could never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers in her mortal form. You probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero, and I, Zelda, and the goddess reborn as a mortal. One day, of the, the day of the ceremony, Garahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old god, by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I 
had no memory of all my existence as Halia, but she explained it to me. She helped me remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the old goddess statues located in the Earth Temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he is more than capable of devouring this land if, he, if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself. The seal that imprisons him at any cost. That's why I intend to remain here in this time and place to sustain the seal the best I can. As long as I continue in this video, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> I must maintain the seal of Hylia Rather that I created so long ago and keep it strong for as long as I'm able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. <laughs> like the goddess created Fi in the Great Blade, she's part of a very, she's part of, for very specific reasons, for the task of standing up against demise in the monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Ink. During your jer long journey, you've grown so much. Look at those eyes, Link. Jeez. You've learned wisdom from solving the devious puzzles and traps. You've gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your soul. And overcoming the trials that before you, the goddess, you've found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power of the old gods. So before you, you can claim the Triforce. What up, girl? Give me that Triforce. <clears throat> Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage, and for this I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back your own from this land. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are a hero of legend and that within you dwells the sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. Oh no! The Master Sword just got unleashed. The Goddess has blessed your blade and the Master Sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. Yay! Yay! The sword is now imbued with the mystical power of the Dryback Demons, and only Link may wield it. Yeah, that's a sword. Link, before I say another word, I feel I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce Union is a symbol of the greatest power in the world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few have chosen with the unbreakable spirit can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow I think that they have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the land. Which brings us back to you to face demise and keep the land hope of goddess. What? The goddess Halia needs someone with an unreal spirit, as someone as you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You have to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself, so that you could wield the supreme power. And so Halia, I mean, and so I, knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into the any danger without even a moment's doubt. I... I used you. I 
cannot... I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for putting you into all this thing. But you have to understand this is a, a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. Be well intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure the seal holes I remain here for in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. No, you're not. I'm gonna stop you from doing that. I think I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had you to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea where we fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta pause this. Stop with this. It's too much. Too much dialogue. Too much explanation. While it's true that I am highly reborn, I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. Pausing it.